over voltage or too low voltage protection. Malfunction conditions. An abnormal voltage rise or drop is detected by checking the specified voltage detection circuit. The failure may be caused by abnormal power supply, wiring mistake, faulty bridge rectifier, and faulty IPM board. Troubleshooting is shown in figure. Check whether the power voltage is normal. Restart the unit when the power supply is normal. Measure whether the outdoor terminal voltage is normal. If the value is not equal to power supply voltage, check whether the wiring of power wires is correct. Measure whether the voltage between L and N is normal. If the value is not equal to power supply voltage, check whether the wiring of L and N is correct. Measure whether the input voltage of bridge rectifier is normal. If the value is not equal to the power supply voltage, check whether the wiring of bridge rectifier is correct. If wiring is correct, measure whether the voltage between P and N is normal. For normal value, please refer to the table. If the value is normal, replace the IPM board. If the IPM board and main board are in the same board, replace the outdoor main PCB. If the value is abnormal, check whether the bridge rectifier is normal. Measure whether positive and negative resistance values of the plus and negative pole between two, three, are normally responding. If positive and negative resistance values of one diode are both zero or infinite, bridge rectifier is abnormal. If bridge rectifier is abnormal, replace it. If bridge rectifier is normal and there is PFC module, replace the PFC module. If the error still exists, check the wiring of reactor or inductance. If the wiring is correct, measure the resistance value of reactor or inductance. If the reactor or inductance is normal, the value is zero. If the value is abnormal, 
replace the reactor or inductance. If the value is normal, replace the IPM board. If the IPM board and main PCB are in the same board, replace the outdoor main PCB.